All right, are you on the right path in your life right now? Or is what you're doing right now in your life, is it your true calling? Do you feel that? And how do you determine that? How do you know if you are on the right path and if, and if what you're doing is your true calling? That's what we're going to get into on this video today. And this is Reality Transurfing, a practical course in creating your own reality by Vadim Zeeland. We're getting back into chapter 20, your true path. I know you guys have been anticipating this video and I love doing this. I absolutely love and enjoy this. Thank you guys. I love you guys very much for being patient. Let's go ahead and jump right into this. This is principle. It is not worth setting out on a path that has no heart. So whatever you're doing right now, if your heart is not in it, then it is not the right path for you. And he explains this a little bit further, which I'm going to give you my narration along with it. This path leads to a complete dissonance between the heart and the mind. If your heart and mind are not connected with whatever you're doing in life, whatever if your career, your job, your relationship, you know that it's not right for you. But he further explains it in here. You will experience a feeling of uneasiness in your gut, uneasiness in your gut, uncertainty and frustration. So if you're feeling an uneasiness in your gut or uncertainty and frustration, that's those are three really, really strong signs that you are not doing what you've been called to do or your proper or true path. OK, so so on the one hand, it looks as if you are doing everything right. And yet, on the other hand, your subconscious tells you that you are not on the right path at all, which then you'll be feeling the uneasiness in your gut, uncertainty and frustrations. That's because when a path has heart, you feel it through and through. When you go on your way, you have the incomparable feeling that everything will turn out just as you want it to. So when you know you're on the right path, everything's going to feel natural to you. I kind of want to go back to the natural part of this because once you have visualized something and you have visualized it and you've imagined it and you've and you've lived with that scene and you have like the slide technique, which I'm going to get into in a minute, you start visualizing these things. It's already having them. Then it becomes natural to you and it's going to become automatic because the free will that you have chosen to change your assumption is now being created into your 3D world and it's natural to you. So you're going to go after this or it's going to come to you and you're going to feel natural. There's going to be an incomparable feeling that everything is turning out just the way that you want it to because you have locked in on that with your assumptions and the free will, the world of free will. OK, so and now you it gives you a calm, a characteristic confidence because you don't get what you want in life. You get who you are. And when you visualize something and you live as if you are already this person that has all these things, you're going to feel that way. You're going to have that incomparable feeling that everything is turning out just the way it's supposed to intuitively because you have locked in with the naturalness of the thing because now that is you you have connected with that version of yourself where that stuff is as natural to you to make a million dollars in a year or 10 million dollars or whatever number that you want or whatever relationship that you want it's going to feel natural to you because you're living as if you already are that person you've programmed the, yourself in the psychological world to be this person and now you're getting it not because you want it but because you are it okay so all right, so it gives you a calm, characteristic confidence to go on your way on which, okay, so go on your way, your own way, on which the soul rejoices and your mind rubs its hands in glee. If you intend to find your true path, there is no doubt that you will find it. So visualizing, which I'm going to get into here, he actually has a slides technique. It's very similar to Neville Goddard's actually, which he gets into, I believe it's chapter 44, I believe. We're going to get into that later. But I jumped up there that way I could explain that to you because he kind of talks about it a little bit in this chapter. And I was kind of curious about that. Okay, so interpretation. When you start living for yourself and doing what you enjoy doing, everything else in your world will catch up to you comply and comply with your path okay so when you start living for yourself and doing what you enjoy doing everything else in your world will catch up to you catch up to comply with your path and i love this part because it is all very simple it is all very 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 simple when heart and mind are in harmony everything else automatically falls into place okay so once you visualize something and you become this new version of yourself everything's going to fall into place just perfectly because you no longer want it because you have it you already have it in the psychological world so now it's just a matter of time until it's distributed to you from the 3d world the hologram that you're living in the virtual reality that we're living in for it to come to you okay so 
when they are not in harmony although for example when the heart is asking for something and the mind is afraid that's when you need to go back into the psychological world that means that your assumptions in the in the only world where there's free will has changed somewhere that means you've reacted to your 3d world that means you're no longer living in the world of already having these things so you have to lock back in on the assumption so start doing the slides technique which i'm going to get into here in a second okay so that's exactly what he's talking about here so if you start feeling like you're not in harmony for example when you start your heart is asking for something and the mind is afraid it is important to act cautiously and prudently okay so when he starts talking about those things that means your assumption like your fundamental assumption of what you already have or who you already are is off alignment. Okay. So you have to go back to that and start visualizing. Okay. So we're going to get into that in a second. All right. So listen to your heart, but remember that you live in a material world, which is not always capable of adapting to your desires instantaneously. Okay. So of course it is not hard to walk away from a job you hate, but if you are afraid of being left without an income, do not expect a miracle okay so if you use the slides technique this is where this is where i was reading this and i said the slides technique we haven't gone over that yet so i jumped and i found it in the book what he talks about okay so if you use the slides technique you will be able to find any kind of work you want be it in another city in another country even but without reliable support at this stage you will be too anxious to practice the technique calmly never burn your bridge all right guys so here's the slides technique i jumped to chapter 44 slides in vadim zeeland's book here and i highlighted some things that way i'm ready for this this is actually really really interesting because it's very similar to neville goddard so he has like a or it's a running the goal slide through your mind okay so that's what the the slide technique is these are goal slides in your mind so you determine what you want in life what career you want how much money you want winning the lottery the relationships and you create like a goal slide this in, in picture form and you're running these through your mind and your imagination and you're seeing them the end results and you're running them through your mind so this is where it gets into it running the goal slide through your mind the picture of what your life would look like if you had already achieved your goal all right so unlike the the useless dreaming that only occasionally comes into being this is real work which i agree with this is this can take some muscles of the mind to develop to be able to focus on that and actually see that without your mind wandering which we have covered in other videos to build that muscle of the mind so do the work and you will see the results i love this part right here when you practice the visualization technique the layer of your world shifts in the variant space to the sector in which your goal has it been has already been achieved okay so do not think about how this happens do not do not worry yourself about how it's going to happen so only visualize the slides in your mind of your goals being achieved don't worry about how that can happen because we're living in a hologram of virtual reality anything can change at any time whatever you create can happen so don't limit yourself by wondering how this is going to happen i only make fifty thousand or twenty five thousand a year right now how am i supposed to make a quarter of a million or a million this year it can happen i promise you it can happen okay so your thoughts should be focused exclusively on the goal slide in its own time outer intention will open doors real opportunities the likes of which you could never have foreseen and would not have appeared if you had not worked with the slide the slide technique when you see that the goal is getting closer your fears and doubts will vanish do not watch the slide from the outside like a film in a cinema okay this is where he goes you're thinking from it not of it okay so do not watch the slide from the outside like a film in the cinema live it at least virtually pretend it is already happening imagine all sorts of new details don't let working with the slide become a burden or chore just take pleasure just take pleasure in envisioning the scene in which you have already achieved your goal of course if your visualization is not very distinct do not try to too hard to make it clear work on everything in your own way however it comes most importantly if you work on your slide systematically and enthusiastically you can consider your goal as already being in the bag all right, I absolutely love this, guys. This is outstanding, the slide technique. All right, guys, so I'm gonna give you a little recap of this video real quick. I'm gonna highlight some points that I want you guys to focus on, okay? So you're trying to find your true path, your true calling. I want you to visualize, use the slide technique, and, and just visualize yourself in the career that you want. Or you can use this with anything, relationships, the amount of money, the winning the lottery, whatever you want to create into your life. 
I want you to use the slides technique. What would you be doing had you already had that and create a slide and think from it? So you're not looking at it at a, at, at a distance from you. You're actually living in there now and then you will have your heart and mind will connect and you will have the experience. You won't have any experiences of uneasiness in your gut, uncertainty or frustration. You will know you're on the right path. And if you're feeling, if you are feeling uneasy in your gut or uncertainty or frustrated at all, focus back on your slides because that means that you have fallen out of the assumption of already having it so in the only place that we have free will is in the assumptive world so you have lost so you, that means you have reacted to something in your 3d world that has thrown your assumptions off so you have to look back within start visualizing create the new feeling and then you will be led to to your proper path your true calling your true path in life all right guys i love you guys very much and give me one thing you guys are grateful for in the comment box below and i will see you guys tomorrow